Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección del Español 2. En esta lección hablamos del pretérito y el imperfecto. Estas son dos conjugaciones, two conjugations that we use to talk about el pasado, the past. Um, in class we've been working with both of these. We've talked about preterite being bam. In other words, actions that are completed in the past. Definite beginning, definite end. You know I can happen one time or it just happened. When we talk about the imperfect, we're talking about events that used to happen, something that was going on, no definite beginning or end, you're setting the scene of something, it's not bam. It's not clearly defined that it happened at a moment in time. So I've noticed that we're starting to get, since we're using these together now, we're getting conjugations confused. So I want to give a quick run through of these two conjugations. Okay. First of all, the preterite. The preterite endings, those are the eas de almos autumn. Okay, we talk about those. Um, really, that doesn't mean a lot unless you are really learn it by the endings, but we don't ever use those endings when we speak. So let's just go over them real quick. We have an air verb like escuchar. Our endings are escuché, escuchaste, escuchó, escuchamos, escucharon. Okay? I listened to the teacher. Yo escuché. Um, we listened. Escuchamos. Okay? ERs and IRs, you'll notice that they have the same endings. E, iste, yo, imos, yeron. Yo escribí una carta. Ayer yo escribí una carta. I wrote a letter. El vendió su carro. He sold his car. Vendió. Those are, those are predator actions. Actions that, bam, completed in the past. Okay? So those are the preterites. If we move to the imperfects, and this is where some people get confused, we've got the ARs. So like if it's escuchar and you want to say, I used to listen or I was listening, um, escuchaba, escuchabas, escuchaba, escuchábamos, escuchaban. By the way, if you're interested, vosotros escuchabais. Okay, ERs and IRs, you'll see, once again, birds of a feather, they're staying together. ERs and IRs, vendía, I used to sell cars. Yo vendía carros, coches, autos, whatever you use in your region. Um, él escribía a su abuela todos los domingos. He used to write letters to his grandma every Sunday. So that's more of a continual repeating action. So we're using the imperfect. If we want to say, he wrote his grandma once, we would use the preterite. Bam. Escribió a su abuela. No, escribía a su abuela. He used to do it. Okay, and the confusion that happens is people see these ERs and IRs. They know they want to use the imperfect, and they think of the imperfect as the abas. And so we start seeing things that are totally wrong, like vendiba. And I shouldn't even show that to you, because then it puts it in your head and it starts to sound right. But no, we don't use those EBA endings with ERs and IRs. Remember, the ARs are the ABAs, the ERs and the IRs are the IAs. Okay? So, that's... I try to make these quick, but without actually practicing these in class, it's not really going to stick well. Um, so let's look at a few hints, a couple things that will give you the heads up when it's going to be imperfect. The abas and the e as we were just doing. Okay, a few hints, some words that will give you a, a red flag or a yellow light, whatever you want to call it, a warning that it's going to be imperfect. Words like siempre, always, nunca, never, todos los días, every day, cada día, each day, it happened all the time, de vez en cuando, every now and then. Los domingos, on Sundays, these are all words that insinuate um, there's going to be repetition. Todos los veranos, every summer. There you go, there are some translations for you. Cada semana, each week. So these words, um, frecuentemente, con frecuencia, indicate that it's something that's going to repeat. Now, just like for the imperfect, we also have some, some help words to help you recognize when it's going to be preterite. Some pistas for the preterite. Those words are going to include things like, okay, words like ayer, anteayer, anoche. 
These are specific moments in time. Yesterday, day before yesterday, last night, the night before last, esta mañana, this morning. Specific moments in time. So these will be clues or tips that it's going to be a preterite conjugation. Okay? So that's what uh, a, a couple things that you can look at to help you know if it's going to be preterite or imperfect. Um, let's try a couple here. Mirar, to see or to watch, to watch, ver is to see. If you want to say mirar, I watched la tele anoche, are you going to use the preterite or the imperfect? Well, anoche is a specific moment. Last night I watched TV. So, we would probably use the preterito. It's a specific moment. So, I watched, what would the conjugation be? Preterite, yo form of mirar. It would be mire. Yo mire la tele anoche. Let's do, let's do a handful of these. Let's practice with some of these. Okay. Mirar. Again, we've got mirar. La tele cada día después de la escuela. So I watched la tele each day after school. Well, this isn't a one-time event. This is over and over. So, preterite or imperfect. Which one would we use in this case? Well, if it's something you did every day repeatedly, it's not going to be the preterite. It's not a bam. So, of course, it's going to be imperfect. Now, the next step, how do we conjugate it? It's an AR verb. Yo miraba, miraba la tele cada día después de la escuela. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next one, our verb is llamar, llamar, to call. Mi hermana nunca me... So like, you know, she was off at school for a few years. She never called me imperfecto. She used to not call me nunca me. And what's the conjugation? Imperfect, AR verb, nunca me llamaba. Now this one could be argued, and I understand. So let's look at, look at one that's a little bit more clear, not as arguable. We'll stick with the verb llamar. Mi hermana no me blank ayer. You remember ayer? It's yesterday. So my sister did not call me yesterday. Well, this is a specific moment of time. Llamar. So what would it be? Mi hermana no me predator conjugation. Yam mo. I didn't even ask you on that one if it was predator and perfect. Sorry for breaking the routine there. Okay, let's go to another one. Correr, to run. Juan, correr, muy rápido cuando era joven. When he was young. So, is that, is that a predator or imperfect? When he was young. Well, it's not just one time he ran fast. It's, hey, when he was young, he used to run fast. So, we're going to use the imperfect. Now, if we take an ER verb like correr, and we want to say he used to run, what would it be? Remember, abas, the BAs are the, for the AR verbs. Aba, abas, aba. This is an ER. So, Juan, correr, Juan. Corría. Juan corría. He used to run. And he used to run very fast when he was young. Now, Juan. Like, muy rápido en la carrera del sábado pasado. Carrera is a race. Sábado pasado, last Saturday. Hey, now we're talking about a specific moment. So what's going to be preterite or imperfect if it's a specific moment? It's going to be preterito. Preterito is a specific moment. So, he ran preterito. What would it be? Juan corrió. Okay, so wrapping this up here, my students, you've got an assignment. You've got three sentences to do. First one, how would you say in Spanish, when I was a kid, I lived in Tucson? When I was a kid, I lived in Tucson. Okay, next one. Last night, I called my friend. Uh, or reword that. 
I called my friend last night. I called my friend last night. Last one. I visited my grandparents every summer. Or every summer I visited my grandparents. Okay, those are your three sentences. We'll check to make sure that you can, uh, that you've got those in the right conjugations in class. Buena suerte. Adios. Ciao. Hasta luego. Etc. Etc. So forth. So on.